the the whole thing here is what is your best trash talk story whether you were the one saying it it was to you you were around it college professional could be high school could be could be something could be a pickup game even what's your best trash talk story let me see man let me see this would kill me if you said will thomas actually would say oh something <laughs> man that would be that would be nuts I, man, that would be say... insane that guy's a quiet assassin he, he really is a man of few words but uh i'll talk a little bit more off the pot about that but yeah let's let's i'll i'll uh defer to you and let you think for a second all right oh but i, I could tell you this one right here it's not a not a trash not like trash talk or anything like that um but it's similar i guess all right so when i'm in alba berlin uh we play in Euro League, and uh, we're in the top. We're in the top sixteen. Play in Barcelona. Play Barcelona. I think we play Barcelona at home. We beat them, and then we go on the road. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I think we played them at home and we beat them. We go on the road to play them, and uh, they had this guy on their team. His name is Brad Olderson. Brad is from Alaska. You know, me and Brad, me and Brad, good friends, man. So uh, I've played against Brad before when I was, oh, that was actually the year before when I left Russia and I went to Basconia. He was playing for Barcelona still. So when I was in Basconia, we played them in the playoffs, first round of the playoffs, close to the end of one of the games, you know, crunch time. They run this play for Brad and I'm guarding Brad, right? I'm guarding Brad. And they run him like they run him off a screen and he goes through the elevator and they close the door on me like the screen. They close the door and I can't get through. So he's pulling up for three and I'm trying to get through and I like fall, like fall through the screen and I'm on the ground. And he shoots the three and he makes it and he looks down. And he's like, ah! like yelling at me. It's like so they go on to win the game. You know, of course, my team lost. We end up losing for the season right there. Right. So the next year, I'm in Alba. We make it to the top 16. Barcelona's on the schedule. We beat Barcelona in, in Berlin. We go out to Barcelona. And I've ne I never forgave him for that moment. I always remember that. So it's like we're in Barcelona, and I am killing them. I'm having a great game. I'm having a great game, right? And he's guarding me. So I'm scoring on him and I'm kind of tapping him, like tapping him like, yeah, you remember you was yelling at me last year. Yeah, now it's my turn. And it's like, we kind of going back and forth. And I remember I went and like late, I think I went and laid the ball up and I got an M1. And I remember him like, he gets the ball out the net and I'm standing on the goal like, yeah. So, and he drops the ball on my head. <laughs> <laughs> right so he drops the ball on my head and i knew it and i knew it when he did it so i just kind of turned around like yeah and like i had a, so i had a real good game we end up losing thinking overtime or double overtime or double overtime no I, no i think we did end up losing i think we did end up losing in like overtime or double overtime but you know so when i went to barcelona when i went to barcelona he was still there Right. So as soon as I walked into practice, it was like, man, you, I've been waiting to see you for a long time. I just want to tell you, I do not like your ass at all. <laughs> and, you know, come to find out me and him, man, we the, the greatest of friends, man. We had the best times talking about those situations. Like, man, we had the best times talking about it, like telling, like telling that story from my perspective and hearing it from his perspective. And, you know, everybody, all our teammates just like sitting around, just dying, laughing about it. It's like, you know, we're both pretty, you know, yeah, we're, we're pretty, we tell stories, you know, pretty fun guys to be around. And, you know, like, man, this, like this stuff that happens in basketball, man, like, if it's a bad experience, it's still like your experience, man. It's still a, a, a memorable story that you have. And it's like, man, so we're just sitting around, like we got the biggest kicks out of telling that story. and you know, just what, what all went into it behind the scenes of it. It was, man, it was great. So that's a great story that I have uh, with that guy, man. You know, so we used to, uh, you know, he, he's balding up top and I'm sure it's much bigger now. You know, I'm sure it's much bigger now, Brad. I'm sure your ball spot is much bigger, 
Um, you know, so this story, that, that story was for you, man. I just wanted to remind you of, you know, that year in Barcelona when I was scoring on you, you couldn't guard me. And uh, you had to resort to, to cheap plays, like throwing the ball at me and stuff like that, man. They should have just subbed you out. This is, but that was for you. This is the first time we've ever had recounting of the trash talk story turn into trash talk in the segment. That was <laughs> yeah, well done. Man, it's, hey, it's an ongoing thing, man. I, I, we might, we might lose a game, or we might play against another point guard. And he has a great game. It doesn't matter if I was guarding him or not. Man, this man writes me on Twitter like, man, he'll write, send me a message on Twitter like, man, maybe it's time to go ahead and retire. <laughs> so, yeah, that's for him because he re he retired maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago he retired. So it's like now he now he spends his time trying to pick on me. So, uh, yeah, I had to go ahead and say that about him, let him know that uh, I still got his number right here in my pocket <laughs> and uh, I can use it whenever I want to. <laughs> 